Welcome to Torrell Palace, Porto. I'm going to do a quick review for you today of this five-star hotel in Porto and some of the reasons we chose to stay here because we were torn between Torrell Palace, Porto and Torrell Avant-Garde, but we chose Torrell Palace as it was more centrally located and we knew we'd be doing a lot of walking. So this hotel is absolutely stunning. That was another reason we chose it. It looks like a palace because it was and it was refurbished in 2020 and it's just so full of light and beautifully appointed and it has some really great amenities so i'm going to start with the room we booked a superior double room and we stayed in room 23 which it doesn't say in the description but it has a private juliet balcony so if you want to try and request this room i definitely recommend it because it is a top floor so no one walking over the ceiling and the balcony is big enough for a small table and two chairs so you can have your morning espresso there so the, every room has an espresso maker it has a mini bar it has air conditioning a lot of european rooms don't which is really nice it has a hairdryer a safety deposit box a flat screen tv and then a private bathroom with a shower and skylight there's also dressing gowns, bathrobes, whatever you want to call them, which I always like to kind of put on whilst I'm doing my makeup before I go out in the evening. There's a massive desk, which is really good just for putting all your stuff on your computer, complimentary water, the snacks you have to pay extra for, but there was also a complimentary bottle of rosé wine. The room service here is 24 hours if you're still hungry and want to order anything. We didn't use the room service, so I can't tell you if that was any good, but this is a Juliet balcony I was telling you about. So it's tiny and the view isn't that great because you're on the back side of the hotel and there is construction going on but I didn't hear the construction and it's just nice to have all that natural light and be able to sit there and have your coffee in the morning the bed was really comfortable my husband and I are super picky on beds and um, it wasn't squeaky it wasn't loud there's loads of cushions pillows to choose from so you could be comfortable and again we're really picky about our pillows and we both got a good night's sleep on these. So this is your private bathroom, which has this massive skylight. If you're worried it's going to keep you awake when the light comes in the morning, they've thought of that. There is a curtain that closes on the bathroom. There is body lotion, shower gel, shampoo and conditioner, which all smelled amazing. It was kind of citrusy and fresh and just really, really lovely. There is also a spa in this hotel if you want to take advantage of making a reservation there. It's obviously not included in the prices extra, but a little bit of pampering whilst you're on vacation. So the bathroom is a really nice size. There isn't a bath, but I don't know who baths on vacation. Anyway, we're a shower people, get up and go in the morning. But it's a really nice size room. It's just over 400 square feet. And again, I was all into the espressos. We were doing a lot, a lot of walking every day. I think we did 11 miles one day, seeing everything. And this is the top floor. There aren't many suites up here. So it is really nice and quiet and private. I would definitely recommend this hotel for couples if you're looking for somewhere romantic to stay. So let's take a look at the rest of the hotel. This is the lobby, the foyer, whatever you want to call it, with the staircase if you want to take the stairs to your room, which is really, really kind of such a grand entrance and it really gives you that castle feel. Or you can take the elevator like we did. So what's lovely about this hotel is how peaceful and quiet it is and all of the amenities, like this library, which is so beautiful. All the books are real if you want to have a little read or just relax here and take in that natural light. The whole hotel is so beautifully lit and romantic and quiet. And then this is the restaurant where you'll have your morning breakfast. The breakfast here was amazing. It's also their blind restaurant if you want fine dining for dinner in the evening. And this opens up into their beautiful outdoor pool area. Also also a cozy bar if you want to have one of their specialty cocktails or a nightcap. Let's take a look outside at the pool because the pictures of this was one of the selling points for us. They've got day beds, they've got the pool and that high private screened courtyard and that's where you can have breakfast as well. It's just very, very peaceful. There's nobody here and it's the middle of summer. I think I was really early this morning actually when I was filming it. And then the breakfast, I have to say, was outstanding. They say breakfast buffet, but when they say buffet, it's amazing. Lots of fresh food, fresh fruits, cereals, yogurts, meats, cheeses, sparkling wine. So you can have a cheeky drink in the morning. Lots of fresh honey. Oh my God, the best bread. So you had this caramel filled muffin, which I ate every morning because they were so good. Really good fresh bread. And then you can order eggs. So if you want scrambled eggs or poached eggs or eggs benedict, you can order that fresh too. And it's just a really lovely, relaxing way to start your day and make sure you're well fueled for all of the walking around the city and sightseeing. 
And then in the evening, the place takes on a totally different vibe. It's their fine dining restaurant called Blind, if you want to check that out. And this would be the entrance you would take if you were coming in with a reservation and not a hotel guest. And just look how pretty everything is. All of the details, all of the, the bright colors. It really feels authentic. My husband and I love modern hotels, but we also love it when we're traveling that you feel like you're in the city you're in. And this definitely feels very Portuguese. Porto Airport is just 10 miles from the hotel as well and Terrell Palace offers either a paid airport shuttle or you can take an Uber or book a taxi but it's a super easy hotel to get to and really easy to get to all of the major sightseeing things you might want to see. So we really loved our stay at the Terrell Palace Porto brilliant location, really peaceful haven. Um, the city's pretty quiet anyway. I know it's touristy and there's lots of tourists, but there isn't a lot of loud traffic like you get in some cities, but it was just so peaceful. The service was excellent. The rooms are really well appointed and a good size, especially for European cities. I know my husband's American and he often complains how small the rooms are in Europe. The only thing I would say is if you are staying here longer or you don't want to go out for dinner, you are limited with restaurant choices. There is just one restaurant in there, the blind restaurant. But honestly, when we're on vacation, personally, we like to go out and about and explore and go to kind of more authentic places. And there is a really good authentic restaurant around the corner. I'll put a link to it in the, in the description below because it was really special. It was very, very authentic. And we love that. A lot of Portuguese people live in. Um, eating there and he said living there they're definitely not living there eating there um i give this hotel a nine out of ten just because of the limited restaurant choices there but the food there is really really good that they do they might only have one choice but they do it and they do it well and um, if you have any comments about the hotel drop them below i will try and answer them for you or i will get the answer for you thanks so much for watching if you have the time please give it a quick thumbs up it does mean a lot to me and subscribe